And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some War Mother's Control. Got a donation deck to play one of the most popular and best control decks in the format right now with War Mother's Ramp. We're going to be trying it out with, of course, our new champ champion of Trundle to pair with Trindamir. So, you know, nothing special there. But we got a full three copies of War Mothers, and we're not messing around with any kind of units that aren't really that good. We don't have any Kindly Tavern Keeper, or Averrosen Sentry, or Averrosen Hearthguard, or She Who Wanders, or anything like that. We we have Trundle, we have Trindamir, and of course we have to play Weirding Stones to ramp. Besides that, that's all we got. So those are our nine. So the good part about that is that we know the War Mother's Call is going to be getting a lot of Trundles, a lot of Trindamirs, and that's going to be awesome. So that's going to be great for our Trundle Mirror deck. Um, let's see. Besides that, we just got plenty of removal, ramp, sweepers, um, some good troll chance to keep our things alive. Flash Freeze keeps our things alive or us alive, either one. And finish them out with Atrocity. You know, we, we're not messing around here. We're just going to be getting some Trundle, Trindamir attacks, and then Atrocity. No messing around. All right, so let's play some War Mother's Control. We're gonna go play it over in Ranked. We'll play our five games. We are one win away from Diamond, so let's get this first win against Frostbite Midrange. Frostbite Midrange is a great deck. They're good against Avalanche and against Withering Whale. Flash Freeze can help save us. I actually kind of like all these cards. They do have a lot of one health units, whether it's the 5-1 Challenger, um, Iceville Archer being a 3-1. Um, they got some good one health units that we could maybe Vile Feast. Flash Freeze could be important saving us. Also, if they go, if they ever play Reckoning, we can Flash Freeze there. Uh, five drop to kill it in a Reckoning. That could be cool. But then of course we got Catalyst into Trundle. So nothing wrong with that start. Don't really like the Withering Whale. Yeah, some more ramp would be good. Some an atrocity would be good. No, actually, no. I don't want atrocity. I would like, ru yeah, ruination. Gotcha. I do like ruination. All right. So basically, this is kind of the bad part about playing Catalyst of Aeons. Is ideally they would attack first, do three damage to me. I go to seventeen, then I cast Catalyst of Aeons, and I'd be at twenty. However, if they're smart. I would pass to them. They would, should pass turn and not attack for three. And therefore, I waste my turn. And that's a big problem. That means that we just, you know, waste an entire turn. So I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to play the Catalyst of Aeons right away. And that's just how it's going to be. Very good Ruination draw. Definitely like that one quite a bit. So we can try to set that up for next turn. The War Mother will unite us all. This turn we can just go Vile Feast. Uh, kill that, block the Hearth Guard. And I can pass here. What did we catch? All right, still thirteen power. We'll take that. I don't want to pass again. Passing again is risky for sure. Ooh, good thing we didn't pass again. Few are in the right to call themselves Trifarian. Good ruination again. The trolls are going to war. Yeah, I guess I'll just go Trundle Troll Chant. I'll cut them apart. Face me. Oh, 
All right, level up Trundle. One mana short from War Mother's Call. Bow to no one. So let's see, this is gonna go up five. Oh, all right. Sweet. We'll take that. I was kind of debating in my head whether to kill that or kill the 4-3, and I was going to settle on that. I was about to click OK. Playing against some spooky spiders. Definitely like seeing the avalanche. I think I'll mulligan the flash freeze. For now, for Withering Whale, Vile Feast, or another Avalanche, we'll take that. Yeah, Jack, only Monday is like the only day we don't play ranked. Next turn. Avalanche. Probably got some grass or some. Uh... No, they don't. I was gonna say they had. They would have the two mana card to sacrifice and draw two. That's what I thought. But I guess not. Glimpse Beyond. That's the name of that one. So no ramp, so we just got slow hand here. Flash freezes don't look the best, but I don't think they're really for this kind of matchup. Catalyst. There we go. Took a two for one before, a three for one here. Now, either Catalyst or Grasp. All right, just Catalyst. Catalyst will get us to eight mana next turn so that I can Trindamir. Alternatively, I can just play Grasp the Undying next turn. And then War Mother is the turn after. Instead of playing Trindamir. I'm gonna play Trindamir. I like being able to play the reactive spells on their turn. That's true, they could have Brothers Bond. Could have waited on the catalyst. War Mason, reporting for duty. Make the Empire proud. Follow my blade! Your path ends here. Just trying to set up a Battle Fury kill. So we know Imperial Demolitionist is one of their cards. It's been, I don't know, what has it been, like a month since? I don't know how long it's been that Stalking Shadows has been in the format, but still, still waiting on, um, on my opponent to whiff on Stalking Shadows. Remember the objectives. Still waiting on that. Well, GG's. 
Yeah, GG's. Clear it out. You don't stand a chance. Ended up getting me. I don't really regret casting the the grass the undying. I think that was the right play. But you know they had they had the fervor and they ended up getting me. Yeah, withering whale would have been would have been. Uh, yeah, withering whale would have been nice. But oh well. I can't I can't complain too much. I had two avalanches. Those two avalanches were amazing. I just didn't have very much to. Uh, um, back it up with. Okay. Nocturne Diana. I will keep. Like, all of these. This would have been a great hand at last game. Two. If Trindamir was Trundle, you know, last game, you know, we didn't have a Trundle last game. If we had Trundle, that would have been better than Trindamir also, because I would have just had the extra spell mana. Um, we have the attack token next turn. Do we have an opponent miss on Stalking Shadows? No. Pass turn. I'm going to go with the Avalanche and then a Vile Feast right now. Before Glimpse Beyond. Anything else. And of course we want to do the Avalanche first so we don't just kill our own spider. So we get a nice little attack for one. Take an attack for one. Not bad. Throw up a couple of cards on me. We know that they have the the Each four one. Is an act of passion. That card. Nice to meet you. So we're taking four if they're attacking. Oh man, having two of those, that's annoying. Because Pale Cascade means I, I don't get to block the 4 1. That was what I didn't love about playing Trundle. Getting eight. Okay, well. Oh, right, that lets them do that. Well, that worked out as bad as possible. Worked out as bad as possible. I think we're still good. Cost them a lot of cards to do all of that. Grasp over here. We'll have Vengeance for the 8-5. Cool. So we'll Vengeance plus Cold Chant. Okay, getting another Dusk Rider. On 
unseen, unheard. Right, I'll just pass. Hey, potato. Got a donation deck. Make a deck with Nox Cry Arena and Unyielding Spirit. Okay. We're going to Mossia, Unyielding Spirit, and Nox Cry Arena. All right, we could do that. Love the flash freeze, especially against you know, like these ephemerals, like ephemeral dust rider. Flash freeze is a great draw. Man, these dust riders are big. Fortune Pass. 13 mana, 5, 10, 13. So I can, I can do everything except for the Battle Fury. I can just play this 04. I don't know really what the 04 is doing, because all their stuff's fearsome. I can do something. Mother Moon Veil. Wow. Wow. You don't stand a chance. I just feel like it's better to, to wait on this. Not done. On this flash freeze. Alternatively, I could just play a new 9 9. Um, it'll end the game much slower. Let rage fill your soul. Yeah, our, our Lulu Tom deck is probably a pretty rough draft, too. We made it, yeah, we just made it yesterday as well on stream. I haven't played any games with it yet, so it's probably a pretty rough draft, but. Um, should be fun. Should be a fun one to play. Revolution by our hands. All right, so let's see what we got. We're gonna give plus here, minus there. You'll need more than that. You're going to zero. It's me survi surviving at three. Pill Cascade anywhere doesn't kill me. Obviously, I have the Flash Freeze if I wanted to have a lot more life. But there we go. Let's get them to play that first. Now we got a lot more life. All right, GG's.
Trindamir, got it. Two and one. All right, let's play some play against some sea monsters. All right, atrocity, perfect. So we'll have Trindamir atrocity. We can probably find another big threat. I'm gonna mulligan the Trindamir because we need some ramp, right? Like ramp is gonna be really important. But as we've seen these other three games, we haven't seen atrocity yet. I think this is very important to have atrocity, so we're gonna keep that one. Good, so we got some ramp. All right, we'll just take it. Take it all. Don't have to worry about lifesteal doing much. The rot must be cut away. Going like Ice Quake? Don't even know if I attack with Trundle and let them block with Thorny Toad. Don't feel like I'm supposed to do that. No, I probably shouldn't. Just let them toss two. I don't really like this Abyssal Eye. I'm gonna play that so then I can play Withering Whale. Guess maybe it's better to play Ice Quake. It's probably better to play Ice Quake. But I assume that they're gonna play some kind of unit first to get a sapling for their challengers and stuff. Why did Caretaker? All that matters now is the little ones. So Withering Whale, Withering Whale would keep my Weirding Stones alive, but it wouldn't kill their Maokai, where Ice Quake kills Maokai. So I'm gonna go Ice Quake. Come on, come on. Even though our ramp card died, we were still at 8 mana, and so we'll stay at 8 mana. We're not going to increase, but 8 mana is a perfect spot to be, so it's okay. You think Deep's a bad matchup for the deck? Oh, I guess I can't just play Trindamir, can I, because of Devourer. Let's see, I play Avalanche, they go Devourer, I go Troll Chant, kill their Devourer. A little snowball. Oh, I, their, their Devourer won't have Challenger. Won't be able to challenge it. Oh, that card's bad too. I'm really glad I kept Atrocity. Because, yeah, that's, that's definitely a card that we're going to need to win this. They're looking for Nautilus. No 
gonna pass over to me? You pass it to me? You pass it to me? I didn't think you were, but... Oh, looks like you pass it to me. Good, no vengeance. Danger paid. Stare at me at this. It'll stare back. All right, so four mana. How do they stop atrocity with four mana? Yeah, unless they're playing like main deck Riptide. I don't think they can. I think we're good. Awesome. There we go. GG's. Three and one. GG's. Right. That makes sense. And we got a mirror match to finish it out. We need ramp cards. Ramp cards. I want ramp and I want War Mother's Call. Those are the that's all I want. The rest of the cards, whatever. None of none of those were ramp or War Mother's Call. We are playing three copies of War Mother's Call in this deck, and we have cast zero in four games. It's disappointing. Fortunately we have these Trindomirs, so if we do get War Mother's Call, uh, we have all of our threats in our hand. Darn, they, they're also ramping. We fight for one Freljord. Well, we're fighting for one Freljord over here also. What are you going to do about it? Got two Freljords. You have that. Bow to your king. Nah. All right, they also ramping. They smart. Who would face me? Which I guess we just lead with Trindamir. If I lead with Pillar, they just kill Pillar. Death itself can't stop me. Probably not worth it. I just, I don't want my trundle to die to a withering wit or, you know, like a vile feast or anything like that. I went this route. Yeah, I could have blocked. Yeah, I could have gone that route of block hearth guard. I, don't, I went this route because it's better for like our vengeance. A lot easier to kill this Trindomir. It's always cold in the Freljord. Hail to the king. Yeah, Flash Free. Yeah, this is this is definitely the matchup to play the three Flash Freeze for sure. Unfortunately, we don't have any, but yeah, this this would definitely be a great Flash Freeze matchup. Follow my blade. All right, so let's see. Trindomir. All right, so Trundle's going to be a nine seven. Which one of these do I want to have to be unblocked? Oh, come on. I can. Do this and then vengeance. Because, like, they have overwhelm, right? So they're going to do damage. Get ready for a beat down. 
I'm kind of thinking that they'll have their own. I don't really want to go Battle Fury because I'm thinking that they probably have like their own vengeance. So I don't really want to go Battle Fury. But I also don't want my Trundle to die to Grass of the Undying. Like Trindamir doesn't die to Grass of the Undying. Harsh Winds is good. That's good. Not the best. Don't want any of these grass, withering whale, vile feast, even ruination. Our hand is just not very good. Smashing! Avarosans, stand together! So I think I'm gonna go grasp, grasp, vile feast to kill Trundle. One smack will do! Only plus one. So none of these cards cost eight plus mana. Ugh, they have Troll Chant. They would save it. They would keep it alive. I just don't want my Trindomir to die. So... Twitch chat saying that they would just block with the, the Trindomir. Okay. It's not bad. I feel pretty good about this one. Perfect. Great draw. See if they have another Harsh Winds. That'd be the worst case scenario. It's one Flash Freeze. No. Not just flesh, rage incarnate. Flash freezes are awesome. Perfect. That was a good flash freeze draw. But unfortunately, didn't kill them, so they, they got another turn here. Not expecting a third atrocity. Unseen, unheard. Forgive me. Not expecting a third atrocity. Um, so I think we got this one now. That was a very clutch flash freeze draw. We're still giving Trundle plus four. All right, two seventeen power champions. Winning that game four and one for our final record. GG's. So yeah, War Mother's Control, still a great deck. You know, maybe maybe the best control deck in the format. Um, I liked our list that we weren't fooling around, you know, with any Avros and Hearth Guards or anything else that we were just, um, you know, doing our thing and, you know, having our ramp champions War Mother's Call. That's it. Removal. <laughs> Besides that, removal, protection. Flash Freeze was clutch a couple of times. 
in those games. Definitely a big fan of that, especially how fast our deck can end games with Atrocity. And these champions, you don't have to worry about like the card disadvantage with Flash Freeze because we are able to end the game super fast. So that's just um, a real clutch card, especially in this mirror match with these big threats that hit so hard. You know, it's th frequently going to be like three mana, gain eight life, which is all you need. Um, so there we go. That's War Mother's Control. Great show in there. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Leave those comments. Let me know how you're liking War Mothers these days. Anything else? Any other kind of decks you want to see on the stream? Um, you know, any comments at all? Love seeing those comments. I really appreciate them. All right, but thank you so much for watching some War Mother's Control, and I'll see you for the next video.